to another video of uh, our brand new series important questions and important topics before starting the video if you are not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe to our channel and also like this video and if you are friends who have this subject or who are struggling with uh, this subject please forward this video to them i hope it will help so before starting this video i just want to tell you that this video is just for educational purpose and the questions or the important topics visible in this video might or might not come in the exam because the question paper which will be said by jntuh will be difficult to analyze and we cannot say anything that this question would definitely come all the efforts made in this video are just to educate students and also know them also help them to pass so if you are expecting only these questions will come then definitely it will be a really wrong statement to give but because this subject is mathematical and statistical foundations problems and theory part from anywhere might come and if you want any other important questions for other subjects please do download the exam update app which is readily available on play store and it is free to use you can just use that app add to no important questions of various subjects either 2-1, 3-1 and first year so guys also please do do subscribe to this uh, channel we are making a lot of efforts to make education easy in engineering and uh, let's start with uh, today's subject it's mathematical and statistical foundations commonly known as msf so important topic so first uh, let us come to our first segment that is syllabus so this syllabus is really hard and it is really lengthy so here you have unit one the greatest common divisors and prime factor factorization and uh, this congruences so in this whenever uh, so one thing you have to understand guys whenever these kind of uh, things arrive in the in the unit there are two two parts one is uh, this greater common division and one 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 is this so whenever these kind of things are there definitely one question in part b one question from from this topic and one question from this topic will appear in the exam same in the case of second unit third unit and uh, because fourth unit and fifth unit are only just single topic so you can expect two two questions two two questions but here you can get one question from this and one question from these two topic one question from this and one question from this topic so let us come to the second unit second unit is all about simple linear regression and correlation and uh, random variables and probability distribution and the discrete probability distribution in discrete probability distribution you have only two things one is binomial distribution another one is poison distribution so coming to unit 3 which is continue continuation of this unit 2 it is called continuous probability distributions and fundamental sampling distributions now once you have done with sampling distributions then you have estimation and test of hypothesis so these are the topics and uh, unit 5 would be stochastic process and markov chains so you, here also you might get one question from stochastic process and one one from markov process is compulsory okay so now let's discuss this further as an so our next segment we'll go to tips to pass so as i say in every video prepare three chapters perfectly once you are done with three chapters then it will be easy for you to get pass marks so if you are aiming to score more and more marks then i would suggest prepare five chapters but for pass only three chapters are enough and fourth and fifth chapters you need to go go i mean like uh, on and on just to make sure that in case if you are struck in any of the three chapters which you are preparing the fourth and fifth chapter would be a little backup i'm not telling you to prepare all the five chapters but if you want to pass then three chapters are enough so focus on short questions as i say in my every video guys you need to focus on short questions because short questions are something which are really important and which will help you to reduce your pass mark from 21 if you are writing 10 questions of short marks then there are chances that you will get four or five marks easily then when the passing mark is 21 for r22 regulation then it will become 16 or 17 that will be easy to get in part if you are getting four to five marks in part a then it will be definitely easy for you to get 16 to 17 marks in the part b and here again 
you need to prepare units like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because one unit is related to another. So first unit is related to second, second is related to third, third is related to four, fourth is related. So if you go to go by this process, then it will be easy. And the name itself suggests of this subject is mathematical and statistical foundations. So whenever there is a math, then there is a problem. So here problems are mandatory. So in every unit, you are going to get problems. So if someone is thinking that uh, I will prepare only theory and I'll get pass marks, then that will be a lot, lot, lot difficult. I think that will be an Herculean task, which is impossible to get. Even if the question paper is easy, then also you will get problems which you have to attempt. So in this uh, things, so first if you can check with this important topics, which is our unit one. And also let me know in the comment guys, which subjects more you want and also check out our uh, previous videos where we have uploaded COSM, COA and uh, analog electrical circuits, uh, electrical machines one and also digital electronics already on our YouTube. You can just go and if any of your friend needs these subjects, important topics and important questions, please do, please do, please uh, help, the, help them by sharing this video to them and also subscribe to the channel. So this is the first thing uh, this is the second third four these are the uh, these are the four things where you will get uh i mean like the important things and i think ferment numbers is something which you need to focus on this top uh, i mean like in this unit so factorization of integers and firm, ferment numbers are more important there is a likely question will arrive from these topics only i cannot uh, guarantee you that exact what question will come but definitely from this topic, there will be a question for sure. Now, what are the important questions? So, important questions first will go over Lame's theorem, and uh, as I said, factorization of integers uh, by using trial division method. And uh, again, trial division method and trial zeros find the number. So, if a problem is given, then from Chinese remainder theorem, so you will get like this. So linear system using Chinese Chinese remainder theorem x equals to 3 mod 5 and uh, x equals to 2 mod 7. So you can just or uh, uh, this is the simplest problem I have given. I mean like uh, you can just level up here and uh, practice well uh, problems from this and also one problem for ferment numbers. Ferment numbers in, in the problem in this is not not the numerical problem it might be a little difficult we will see that in our last segment where we have previous question paper and we will discuss that question as well in the previous question paper which segment which is at the last if you want the previous question paper just uh, skip the video to the last you can see okay and uh, so important topics for unit 2 here also this is a little lengthy here you can uh, uh, check with the linear regression model properties of least square estimators then you have simple linear regression case study. Then you have continuous probability, discrete probability. So continuous probability and discrete probability, likely you will get a problem. And binomial and Poisson distribution, there is a more, if the question paper is easy, then binomial and Poisson distribution, you might get theory part here. At least this is for 5 marks. In this topic, you will get a theory part which is of 5 marks if the question paper is easy. If the question paper is hard, then everything will be problems only. So again, if you talk about theories, uh, as I said, see proof that Poisson distribution is limiting case of binomial distribution, something like this you will get. And uh, more, we have to focus on problems. One example problem I have given, sorry, two I have given. A seller of the mobile charger knows the 4% of product is defective if he sells the charger in boxes of 40 and guarantees that there are no more charges for you. What is the probability? So this is a probability question. So this is a little easy uh, you can do and also this one assume that 50% of engineers are good in BEE, BEE is a subject here, find the probability of 12, exact, exactly sorry, find the probability of this is 1, exactly 4 and at least 8. So you need to pro define the probability. So I guess 1 is a, prob a probability question you will get in the exam and uh, this one is least square method. If it is a straight line in y equals to a plus bx of the following data. I'm not telling you that exactly these questions will come, but questions related of this kind will come in exam. Okay. And uh, also important uh, topics for unit three. Uh, so one, you have area under normal curve, application of normal distribution. So this again, normal distribution, T distribution and F distribution are related to unit two only. It's a continuous thing. So sampling distribution of S2 and uh, T distribution and F distribution. 
So coming to the important questions of unit three. So if you feel that I'm going a little fast, you can just pause the screen, take a screenshot, keep it with yourself so that it will be handy whenever you are preparing for your exam. I guess the exam is on 23rd for some people. I, I, I wish you all the luck. Okay. So in this unit also, you might get one theory and the theory question might be like this. Define T distribution, state it properties and explain how normal distribution, T distribution, normal distribution. And they can ask for this area of curve and also F distribution. Okay. These are the three, four topics where you can get theory, but rest of all will be problems. So you can check this, how this is the problem will appear in the exam related to this. I mean, like again, I'm saying not exactly these problems will come related to it might come we'll discuss in our last segment which is a previous question paper we'll just check how questions have been arranged in the question paper so last year's question uh, the question paper which i am giving at the end is a little easy so you can just have a look on that so again unit four classical methods of estimation so how you do classical methods of estimation that is important estimate in the vari variance estimated the proportion of single mean and uh, then two two samples maximum likelihood estimation so this is exactly everything about estimation if you are good at one topic then you can perfectly prepare for all this i i would say this is the fourth unit is the most easiest unit of all this msf so again here i don't think so there might be a theory part but most of them will be problems i'll show you a couple of problems at the end at the pre previous question paper thing so you can just check with this if theory is asked discuss in detail about estimating mean of a single sample explain about estimation of pro proportion of uh, single sample uh, explain the procedure of testing difference between two samples single sample two sample and their difference okay so 10 samples uh, has been drawn from the population with the mean of 20. So population mean is 20 tested five level, 5% 5 level. So this is also a basic problem which I have given. So again, unit five important things are Marco analysis, Marco process, Marco change and first order and higher order Marco process. If you read this, definitely one question is going to be assured from this Marco process thing. So again, here a theory part may ask what would be the theory part you can uh, they can ask about marco analysis marco analysis marco process marco chain so these are the things and also difference between the higher order model marco process and the lower, first order ma marco process so again i have highlighted these theory questions first order marco process second order marco process and if the problem is given here it will be like this it will be like this but not exactly this so transition matrix and all so let's come to our last uh, topic that is previous question paper if you can see that one more questions are just so simple you can just define the format number you just need to write in one or two lines what is format number and you'll get one mark again here in the fifth unit you can see define marco process what is marco process just one mark simple explanation you can explain this as well in a simple terms is the matrix one zero minus one zero stochastic yes or no that's it and also what is mean by static parameter a linear regression on equation y on x so these are the own simple things which can be explained in the one or two lines or three lines may, most hardly four lines that's it so you'll get one mark here if you are attempting five or six marks here then definitely if 21 if uh, six marks goes from 21 then you will have 15 marks to target in part b if you write two long answers completely i mean like uh, in part a if you attempt two long answers completely then definitely there is a chance of you getting 16 to 15 marks because this is a mathematical process and uh, there will not be that kind of marks deduction as you see for theory thing so short questions are important what i am saying so part b if you part b for 2a question will come from the unit a so show that format number f5 is not a prime number so we have talked about format numbers so this is how the questions will be framed from format numbers and factorize 6077 using method of format factorization okay so these are the things and uh, 3a would be show that two root is not a rational number rational and irrational numbers this question this is also from first unit as i said one from one topic and another from another topic find the integer so this is an integer topic and this is a format number factorization topic 
okay so coming to the fourth this fourth question is from second unit what is what is here he is asking calculate the regression equation so regressions so one question is from regression one problem direct problem from regression this is 10 marks so whenever you come across like problems like this so you have to attempt because these are of higher value 10 marks so that you will get a pass mark easily i mean 10 marks if you attempt if you get 8 or 7 then that would be a huge boost for you to score marks or to get pass okay just try if you know this perfectly then try to attempt 10 marks only rather than going for 5 plus 5 or 6 plus 4 here you can see 6 means 2a would be 6 marks plus 4 means 2b will be 4 marks okay now coming to here so this might be a little blur blur here but i would just try, try, try to read you fifth question is from variance okay Pro determine the discrete probability distribution expectation variance standard deviation of a discrete random variable x which denotes the minimum of two numbers again here a direct question for 10 marks so what do you learn from this we learn from this is second unit is damn important and if you can attempt one question you will get 10 marks directly no 5 5 and in third unit you have 6 a what it is write the property of normal distribution normal distribution this is theory again seventh question is sorry sixth b is given a problem seventh you have two things in this one is with replacement one another is without replacement so find the mean and standard deviation of sampling we discussed standard deviations right in our unit three thing so this is that and the eighth question is from fourth unit okay 8th and 9th are from the 4th unit what you will get the pulse ratio of 50 yoga practice this is de decreased on the average of 20.2 beats per minute with standard deviation of 3.5 so standard deviation is 3.5 now here again if you solve A you will get 5 marks if you solve B you will get 5 marks similarly 9th also you will get a problem complete problem there are chances that you might get theory but most of the time it is problem okay estimate percentage of taxi drivers and uh, this is how from the large sample they have taken and uh, p to be estimated in is known and is about most 40 percent how large the sample is required okay now then this again can compute the equilibrium vector for transition matrix Transi transition matrix one question markov chains we discussed the markov chains in fifth unit that is markov chain so this is the end of the video guys if you like this uh, video if you like my explanation please do like the video and also subscribe to the channel please share this video in your college groups or wherever possible so that it can reach to the maximum students and i wish you luck for the exams and again i am telling that only these questions are not enough to pass this is a mathematical subject you need a lot of understanding of the subject to pass this but this I hope this will help you at least one or two questions from this if it appears in the exam then I will be more than happy so the because that topics are helping you to get pass marks okay guys so I hope Monday is your exam I guess and uh, I wish you all the best uh, take care guys and please do subscribe and share thank you